Hey guys, this is Laron from Speak of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are doing a traditional piece again, and we are just using watercolors this time, so we are going back to like a semi-basic stuff. But it is actually a piece in a series that I started sort of a year ago, and I just sort of forgot about it and only remembered it recently. So this is a series of fan arts for Fate Grand Order, which is a mobile game that is very popular in Japan and it is based on the Fate series which if you're not familiar with uh, it's like Fate Stay Night, Fate Unlimited Blade Works, Fate Apocrypha, Fate uh, Extra Lost Encore, um, Fate Zero so it's in that universe so the fan art that I'm doing was a series of fan arts that I did for all of the Knights of the Round Table so I've done uh, saber, which is Saber Arto the Pentagon Saber. Uh, I've done Mashu, Daylight. I've done Gawain. So today we are doing Lancelot, uh, particularly the Lancelot that people call Papalot. <laughs> um, this is the Lancelot that will appear in Camelot. Uh, he is also the Saber Lancelot and not the Berserker that you see in Fate Zero. So they call him Papalot mainly because. Uh, supposedly, there are a lot of cutscenes in Camelot that deals with Mashu and it deals with Mashu's heroic spirit, which I won't delve much into anymore if you're not up to date with the story. But if you're curious, you can research that on your own. But yeah, so we're doing Lancelot today. And well, actually, I had a hard time with Lancelot, or at least coming up with an idea for his. Uh, drawing. So I went through a lot of sketches. Like, actually, I, 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 I started on him almost right after I finished Gawain's drawing, but I don't know. I couldn't get into the groove and I didn't like the pose I was coming up with for him. Supposedly, he would also have flowers, but I don't know. I really just couldn't get a good sketch or thumbnail out of it. So I sort of left it alone for a while. And that's how, I've, that's how it came to be that I forgot about drawing Lancelot. So, it's almost been a year, I think, since I, since I last touched this, um, this drawing. But I finally came up with something that I kind of like. It's a little bit static still, but I mean, all of the poses for the Knights of the Round Table series are sort of static anyway, so I guess it's fine. surprised that I was able to copy his armor almost accurately. Uh, I say almost because it's not really accurate 100% but when I used to draw armor I tend to get the proportions wrong and a lot of the pieces would get squished or it would become too big or too small but this time I think I got his armor pretty right except for his shoulder pads like compared to his um his card art his character art his body and his head is really small compared to his armor but it sort of didn't like that that much so I shrunk down his shoulder pads a little so that it would look a little bit more proportional uh, yeah, but yeah that's, I guess it's fine so I was using the Pigma Micron uh, the Sakura Micron Pigma pens the legit one this time it it worked wonderfully to be honest because um, I bought a set of them on Lazada uh, quite some time ago and they turned out to be fake like I believe the body the, like, the barrels were legit but maybe the nib and the ink were fake because it was so hard to draw with them like they were scratchy and it, they didn't flow at all but I bought some legit ones from uh, a bookstore and they work so so well so one of the challenges with Lancelot's armor is that it's white, and its shading would be gray. So I haven't really done a lot of watercolor lately. I've been doing a lot of colored pencil work, so I wasn't sure if I would have been able to pull off the shadows on his armor. So I really diluted down my paint's gray paint, and I didn't want it to look just a flat gray. I wanted it to have blue since his cloak is blue, and it would naturally leave 
some color on his armor. So I also diluted down a bl- later on at least. I really diluted down a blue to sort of wash very very lightly over the shadows and the gray parts. So the colors that I the watercolors that I'm using today is the Sakura Koi watercolor palette and the Kuro Tahigansei Tambi uh, color palette watercolor. Um, they're very different. Sakura the Sakura Koi's act a bit more like Western watercolors, or at least that's what I've heard online. And compared to some palettes that I've seen from my friends, I I guess it's correct. The Kuro Tahigansei Tambi on the other on the other hand are very very sticky. Um, when you touch them, they tend to stick to your finger just a little bit, but they're already pretty dry. So when you wet them down with the Sakura Klois, after a while, it returns to like, um, it returns to its original state of being a little bit, slightly, slightly chalky. But the Kura Take, it absorbs the water so fast, and when you dip your pen, it becomes sticky again. So I still haven't really properly mastered how to use them. I'm having a fun, a lot of fun with them since the colors are beautiful, but um, I'm not 100% sure how to deal with them yet. But I'll get the hang of it eventually, I hope. I think I've mentioned this in some other older videos somewhere, I'm not really even sure, that the difference between, or the difficulty that I find between um, palettes, uh, pan palettes, and tube paints is that with pans, you can mix colors, sure, like there's a mixing chain and everything, but I find it a bit harder to mix colors since I'd have to lift them off the pan first before actually being able to mix them. So what I tend to do when I draw using the pan palette is I do layering instead. So right now, I'm layering, as I, I did mention this earlier, I'm layering like um, some brown. Or, well, I mentioned earlier that I, I would layer some blue on the shadows for the armor. But I'm layering some burnt shena over the gold parts to make it more uh, toned down. And that's the, the technique that I learned, or I came up with for myself that helped me deal with pan paints a bit easier. So in tube, I just mix that. I wouldn't layer as much unless I want a wash. But with pan, it's like the main technique that I have to deal with. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, yeah, I'm. it's no, it's not really a positive or negative thing. It's just like, uh, it's just different, I guess. Another thing I had a hard time with Lancelot is that I didn't know what kind of background I wanted to give him. Uh, I knew that I wanted to have like this shadow creeping over him in reference to his eventual madness or his berserker version, but it started out like the really pastely purple and blue, but I left it overnight to let it dry and let my brain refresh as well, and I came up with adding a wash of paints gray. So here I use my tube paints to achieve that since it's faster doing it with the tube paints. So it really gave that duality feel that I was looking for. And yeah, uh, that's a suggestion. You should leave your drawings some time overnight before you actually finish them so that you would see the things that you want to improve or change before you're done with the piece. But yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are going to the to the preview soon. And yeah, uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more similar content. I do anime stuff, um, traditional drawings, digital drawings, fan art, uh, character design, vector, pretty much design and art. I'll probably dabble in, in it. Um, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt for other updates or like, you know, stuff like that. And <laughs> I'll see you around.